What's up my humans? This is Trisha with The Truth and you are the truth. I am out here with Bar and Bit with Dad. And today we will be looking at um, brakes and pro probably replacing them and if need be the rotors. So we'll check it out. We got the lift up. Hey! So we are in the barn. Barn bit with dad. Look, it's dad. He's currently under the car. Uh, looks like he's looking on how to line up the lift. Okay, okay. There's the lift, guys. Pretty cool. Looks like dad is putting the feet underneath the car on this side. How's it going currently? Slow. <laughs> it's Slow, all like all the ice and snow. That's the problem of working on something in the winter time. It's slow because of the ice and snow? Well, you can't see everything. There's stuff in the way. Is it going up more? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. You testing it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's always good. Never having used one of these all the time. Right. Be oh yeah. I don't know what he's doing. He just broke a piece of wood and then he went under the car. What are you doing with the piece of wood? A little shim. A shim? Mm -hmm. What's a shim? Spacer. Are you going up again? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. We're going up again, guys. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's not gonna fall down. Ice is slowly melting on the car. Here we go. Here we go. Big ups. <laughs> Making noise. <laughs> Checking the stability. So what are we doing now, Dad? Taking off the caliper. Okay. The caliper will expose the brake pads. You gotta be careful when you take it off because there's a brake line attached to it, so you have to be careful. Uh-huh. And just lay it back in here on the A-frame if you can. The A-frame. And that'll be good. Okay. I've already put a big C clamp on here, and that's how I compress the piston and the caliper. So that you can pull the brakes off and put the new pads on. Otherwise, you can't. Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, Dad, mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Where's B then? Where's what? B. B. Uh huh. B what? <laughs> Why is B left out of this formula? I'm not sure. You, you got the A frame. Oh boy. And the C clamp. Uh -huh. 
tell you, but we don't care where B is at. <laughs> Just be good. How about that? There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, these brake, I'm surprised. These brake pads don't look bad at all, but I'm still going to change them. Yeah? Because of the amount of miles they have on them. Uh, okay. Now I need a crowbar. <laughs> Let's see. Can we get a crowbar over here, please? I'd like to order a crowbar. Don't hit your head, though. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, he's gonna mess up my car with the crowbar. Yeah. So is the brake exposed there? Yeah. And he's pulling the outside pad off. Okay. And you don't have to take the whole caliper off unless you're gonna take the rotor off, too. The, the newer ones, the older ones, you had to take the whole thing off because it wasn't a two-piece, where the newer ones are a two-piece. Now there, you can see how much material is left there. You got mm -hmm. more than a quarter of an inch. But, I mean, because they're so old and not too many miles, you're better off to replace them. Yeah. So, because obviously the brake pads are not too bad there, I mean, they'd still last how long? I might go another 5,000. Dang. The inside inside pad is always worse than the outside. Hmm. Uh, they get more, more wear, more pressure. Okay. So because obviously the pads are not bad at all, then we don't need to replace the rotors. Woop woop. Right. That's yeah. always a good thing. Rotors look good. Yeah, so I mean I wasn't hearing any noises or anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're just being preventative because it's winter time now. And, you know, they have almost 40,000 miles on these brakes, so. Mm -hmm. It's time to look at them. That thing right there? Mm -hmm. So when the pad gets down to that, that'll start making noise on your rotor. Oh, that's what it is, folks. And that tells you that you need to replace the brakes. So you've got that much pad before that hits that wear indicator, so... Yeah, it's time. It looks really good though, huh? Yeah, it's amazing for that many miles, but yeah. because you're driving so many highway. Oh. All right, would you grab me the big box of brake pads over there on the same bench? Big box of brake pads. Lord have mercy. Now let's look at the new ones. How do they look? So, let's see what we got here. Need another hand? <laughs> yeah, a couple of them. Let's compare, huh? They did have wear indicators on both. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's something new for me. Generally, they're only on one. Looks like uh, Dad said that he was used to wear indicators being on only one of the brake pads, but the old ones and the new ones have wear indicators on both the inner and outer so that's very helpful to the consumer it looks like you're trying both, to take care of your car they're both the same they're identical front or back interesting yeah can, can we get a can we get a comparison here like really how bad oh. or how much how much did you have left so this one looks a little bit more Interesting. So here obviously is the old one and this is the new one. You can see that the new one is definitely thicker. What I mean, so if that, that look at that wear indicator there, mm -hmm. um, it can get down there. to that far. Mm -hmm. So yeah. interesting. That's, that's letting it go too far. Then you run the risk of spinning the pad off then immediately hit steel to steel. Okay, yeah, yeah. and then you would definitely need a new rotor. Yep, there goes your rotor. Yep. Adios. You just slide into place. There's a little track here that they fit into. Hmm. And they just slide in. Make sure they're in there nice and tight. And hopefully, I didn't look at it, but hopefully I've squeezed that enough with the C-clamp. Yeah, if the pistons aren't back far enough in the caliper, sometimes they won't go on a new set of pads because they're th much thicker. But um, every car is different. Hmm. So you never know. There's just two bolts that hold the caliper on. 
I wish I could get in there or in the round there. Next time, get it. <laughs> For the back ones. Mm-hmm. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on these. Just make sure they're good and tight. AKA use the force. Jedi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there we go. One set changed already. Wow. That quick. Fast and efficient. Um, like I say, if you need to pull a rotor, there's two other inner bolts here that you pull off to take the whole um, assembly off for the caliper. And then that exposes the rotor. And this one has one screw in it that you have to take out to pull the rotor off. And sometimes they're tight around the hub here. You have to tap on a little bit or put penetrating oil on, but we don't need to worry about that today. Cool. Because we changed them in time. <laughs> Always good news when you don't need to use extra parts. Yeah, or spend extra money. True. Alright, I always, this is just something that my dad taught me. Hmm. When putting a wheel back on, there's usually five on a regular car, five okay. studs. Do I have five? Yep. Okay. So I always put one in line, in center, it's like a star almost. Mm -hmm. So I always put that on top. To me, it's easier to line it up. And you just pick it, pick it up and throw it on there. You know exactly where you're at then. Cool. Come on. There we go. So I will be moving more stuff out of my way because I can't hardly get in here and put a tire on. So right. It's not a good thing. It's going to be bad. Here, move some of this wood back. Yeah. The other side, that little refrigerator's in the way. Now Which... we're now we're putting the lug nuts on. Mm-hmm. Dad using a smartphone. What's this world coming to? <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, just starting by hand. Mm -hmm. I've got a battery operated impact. Nice. And things keep flying. <laughs> Casualty. Okay, now that's good for now, but after I set it down, then I will tighten them by hand because I don't trust these to tighten them up tight enough. Right, I would do the same. And recovery. Okay, we're moving to the other side. You want to you want to take this around? We need more light. <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> now, when we have more room, I would definitely set up lights too. Yeah. Off. All right, put the C-clamp on here. C-clamp goes in against one brake pad and the back side against the back of the caliper. And then you just turn him in and that squeezes the pistons into the caliper so it relieves the brake pad so you can take them off and then you've got room enough to put the new ones on because as as you wear the old ones down, the pistons come out farther in the caliper. All right, that should do it. Now, take the two bolts off the caliper. Ah! Okay. I didn't fall. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Uh oh, that's not good. Hmm. That must be metric. Crap. I don't know. 
different measurement system. <laughs> oh, I tell you, that's what you run into on these newer cars. Half the bolts are metric, half the bolts are U.S. standard. On the same car? On the same car. No. Yeah. Because they're assembled in different places? I, you know, I don't know what the reason is. All right, there's a, there's a set of sockets in the, the bottom of the toolbox, like this. Yeah. Look. What size? Look. Bring me the whole thing. So we're trying different sockets. And it turns out it's a number three. 13 millimeter. Okay. Yep. So what were you trying to use? I had a half inch US standard on there and it worked on the other side, but these must be a little bit tighter. So I just slipped around on it. It's like, oh, that's not right. Weird. Yeah. Let's see, let's try this one. Come on. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Nothing like having enough tools to play with. Yeah. Note to self, have extra tools. Yeah, US and metric. How do you like being filmed? It don't matter to me. Are you breaking out into song? Because there's too much junk in my barn. Too much junk in my barn. Too much junk in my, too much junk in my, too much junk in my barn. Oh! So if you didn't know, that's like the newest clip for our music video of too much junk in his barn. Okay, now what's, what's, what's currently okay. happening here? Two bolts are out, the caliper's coming off. There okay. it is. Remember, Wait. it's got a brake line attached to it, so you have to be careful. Okay. You just tuck it back in here wherever you can. Most of the time it goes up, sits on the A-frame. A-frame. And there it is. So now there's the brake pads. And sometimes you need a screwdriver or a little pry bar to pop them off. Just all depends. They should come right out. There's one. Cool, how it look? About the same as the other side. Okay. And there they are. And they both have wear indicators on. Interesting. Now, I have left the other brake pads on the opposite side. Okay, and folks, it's a good thing I'm skinnier. I'd never make it in this barn. <laughs> because there is too much junk in my barn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so obviously when we get more lighting and more room, the quality will improve. Um, you know, I was telling Dad that obviously, like, um, some people don't know how to even check their fluids in their car. So I think it's important to, to show folks, younger folks, older folks, whoever folks, um, you know, how to do things on their car. And um, I know that, Dad, you know that I appreciate the things that you have taught me about cars so that I can do, you know, a few basic things myself. But obviously it's nice to see, it's nice to see, uh, you break down the processes of uh, that a pun? of different <laughs> things like changing brakes. Breakdown. We're doing a break. <laughs> it's a breakdown. Took Trish a minute on that one. Cause I was I was in the zone of explaining something. Jeez. Jeez, I was doing a monologue. Monologue. Okay. Jeez. The brake pads, new brake pads are back on. Calipers going back on, two bolts. Okay, some, sometimes these uh, bolts are hard to line up. You just have to wiggle the caliper a little bit to get them going. And once you get them started, if they start going in tight, and then they're not lined up properly because they should go right in finger tight all the way, generally, unless it's an older car and the th threads are rusty, then I always clean up the threads and put... Uh, Oh, I can't think of the name of it. That silver stuff on anti-seize. 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 To them. stop the seizing. That's exactly right. To make so the seizing does not happen. No more seizing in my barn. Oh my God. No more seizing in his barn. Uh -huh. 
Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. And I think it's my daughter. <laughs> what art thou doing now? Just tighten the two bolts on the caliper so it's all back together, ready for the wheel and tire. Cool. Yep. Now this is going to be a stretch, folks. I don't have much room to work here. Cause why? Too much junk in his barn. You got there. Right? Too much junk in his barn. But guys, guys, let me tell you, let me tell you that um, this is less junk than he had before. <laughs> Just imagine. Imagine. What what now? I said there's actually bare floor. So before there was not bare floor? No, you couldn't see the floor. <laughs> there was no floor. <sighs> it disappeared. Oh, this gonna be cool. I better check that. <laughs> Things are falling. Do we have a casualty? No, we're good. Recovery! Pull the safety. Yep, we can't because it's locked into place, so we raise the lift a little bit. And there we go. The safety's all the way up. Down she comes. Going down. Smooth. Okay, that's good for now. What were you explaining about the steps? These levers right here, there's one on each side, and they're hooked to a cable. Every time the lift goes up, I don't know, they're, they're spaced maybe two or three inches apart inside here, and these lock into place so that if the hydraulics should fail on it, the lift will not come down because they'll lock into place in one of those steps. Ah. Yeah, so when, when you get the car to your designated height, then you let the pressure out and let it come down to the next step so it's automatically locked into place. Nice. Yeah. Safety first, y'all. Right. Don't want to get hurt. Engineers, thank you, innovators. All right, now we're hand tightening them. Yep. Barn bit with dad. So we're done with the front brakes. Uh, I am heading home. Uh, next time, catch us with the back brakes. We'll do that another day and rotate the tires and we'll see what else the car needs. Um, I love you, my humans. Bring people together and keep it truthful. <laughs>